not is smoked chili con carne beef with rice. So, food shop, five cloves of garlic and one onion. Chuck steak, a kilo of chuck steak beef, and in like a seasoned salt and pepper seasoned mix of flour, which I just prepped at home. Brought in the top of but now we're just going to douse the chuck steak in flour Just get the get the chuck steak well coated in the flour, salt and pepper mix. No particular ratio, just just season it. Maybe a teaspoon of each. I uh, do the um, do the chuck steak in small batches as well, so you're not overcrowding the pan. And then just brown each batch until it's browned. Remove it, drain it on paper towel, and then do your next batch. Usually probably three or four batches, depending on the size of your pot or your pan. So once that uh, you brand all that, make it have a bit more oil. And we'll add our garlic and onion. So one onion and about four to five cloves of garlic, depending on how garlicky you like it. garlic and onion for about three to four minutes. Maybe just turn the heat down a little bit. You've got a heavy base pan like this just so it doesn't, doesn't burn. Just keep stirring your onion and your garlic so it doesn't stick to the bottom and get all burnt bits in it. 
some garlic to cook. You need to have yourself one can of chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. So, little spice mix that I made when I left home, just to make it easy. It's a mix of smoked paprika, oregano, cumin, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper. So, we put this in, about a teaspoon of each, and stir that in for around about one to two minutes and just let the spices cook down. Again, don't have your pan too hot, otherwise your spices are going to burn. So just keep stirring it. You just want to cook the flavours out of the spices. It might make you sneeze with the cayenne pepper in it. I feel like I want to. So that's cooked off for probably around about a minute or two. Put your beef, add your beef back to the pot. chilies and adobo in that you cut up before. Stir it a bit, just get any spice mix and onion and garlic at the bottom of the pan. About 80 ml of bourbon, roughly. So a little bit just, you know. Need to put in one bay leaf. One bay leaf. Paste. 
two cans of about two four hundred gram cans of diced tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. Doesn't really matter. that to a boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer we'll stew it for about two and a half hours oh I almost forgot um, again something I made at home is just I think it's around about two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cocoa powder as well. So now we've just got to bring that to a boil, reduce to a simmer, slightly cover it with your lid as well. Doesn't need to be fully covered, just let some little, little, little pressure out, but um, just slightly covered for two and a half hours on a low simmer. Alright, so it's been um, about well, it has been two and a half hours since we simmered in the pot. Um, so I've just got a pot here that's got two cups of basmati rice and some water. I haven't turned it on yet, but uh, now it's the time to get your rice on. Doesn't matter what type of rice you use. You use jasmine or you know, basmati or white rice, doesn't really matter. So just cook this as per the instructions on that particular rice you use. Um, so for this one, it's just going to be two cups. It's going to do cup, two cups of rice and four cups of water for five guys. So I'm going to get that on. Get that on. Get rid of that up to the boil. Um, for the stew, all I need to do is add one can of black beans, one can of red kidney beans. So. need a strainer for this. So strain your beans. Off, just to remove all the all the liquid from the beans that are stored in. We need. And those just go straight into the pot. Give it a bit of a stir. Uh, and one thing I did add, I didn't add before is just every now and then, just over the two and a half hours, just give it a little bit of a stir, just to you know release anything that's maybe starting to stick on the bottom. It should be on a pretty low simmer, so it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't get too much sticking. Uh, so this one's pretty good. Doesn't matter if you get some sticking because it'll kind of just that'll start to add to the flavour but you know try not to get everything too burnt or sticky on the bottom. So stir that in and then we leave that for another 30 minutes uncovered. Um, I started this at probably around four o'clock this afternoon so you know I haven't really worried too much about you know having to look after it. Start it and then we just you know you go play a game of cards or go for a walk or whatever. Um, and just let it do its thing. You don't have to stand over it for two and a half hours. Um, and so yeah, we'll be back in about 30 minutes and in 30 minutes you'll be ready. All right, it's now 7.30 p.m. Rice has been on for 20 minutes. Stew or chili con carne has been on for now three hours. 
Time to serve up. Alright, so. Pretty straightforward. Rice. Thank you.